But how many people have you been like super, super into? Like, oh, I can't believe it. And then like fast forward to now, you don't even really think you about them. Like <laughs> so nah, it's one I can't see. see It'll saw, trigger you. Every I time? saw this bitch on my phone in a podcast in the background. This big. I blocked the podcast. <laughs> in the background of a car. You're not over it. Yo, like, like, like you see the bartenders in the back, like in the back. And I knew it was her. What's up, you guys are watching Funny Advice. Today's funny panel is Patrick Cloud, Tahiri, Slink Johnson, Ryan Davis. We have a not so funny, but I'm sure we can make it funny topic, surviving breakups. So yeah, when it comes to breakups, I mean, first and foremost, I would say like, how do you know when it's time to actually break up? Like, what's a good sign to show people like, hey, this, you probably need to leave that. I, I feel like when y'all get bored around each other. When you got, ooh. I think that uh, when y'all are just like, you know, just like look at each other like but that happens once in a while you're being unrealistic no no i'm not saying just a bored i'm talking i'm saying like bored like there's nothing more you can get out of each other like not i'm bored and let's go find something to do together right. i'm bored with you like I'm bored there's we've tried everything and nothing's worked there's no there's nothing there no more no sparks. and you guys know what that means like yeah. you guys know some it's people like, aren't that deep and it don't take that long to explore them because they shallow that's mm. well then that would be a uh, so after a month you're like ooh, wasn't yeah, much yeah. here <laughs> Shit. Yeah, right off. Uh, yeah. I get what you mean. The activity may be boring, but we're not bored. Mm -hmm. So I get what you mean when you say like actually bored with the person. Right. Yeah, y'all laying there. You're like, man, this movie would be great if you're she not wasn't here. Enjoying <laughs> <each other. laughs> <laughs> right. Sleek, how you know it's time to leave? You know, I agree with Pat and Ryan. You know, when you bored with a person, when you come to find out like this really ain't it. Or mm -hmm. sometimes when the disrespect is be so goddamn blatant. Ooh. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's like really, really blatant disrespect. Like, bitch, you really gonna come home with that shit dried up on your face. You could have washed your face before you came home. Talking about semen? He's talking about Talking about dried is semen? That See, that's, <laughs> that's my thing. Face. See, the boredom yeah, thing was, I believe. The boredom <laughs> thing was Pat, but me, once everything starts bothering you, that's a it's fun. time to get out. Mm. You know what I mean? You're like, oh, this bitch is yawning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, the, simple yeah. Things, the simple things that usually don't bother you, you used to find cute. Yeah. I mean, they're not so cute anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, but the other, the other part for me, though, is truly coming to that point, knowing mm -hmm. it's really that. Because you can, like, be discussing with a person's presence, but when they gone, have you really experienced that? It is over when you stop caring about the little things. Like when mm. you used to step out and make sure that he knew everywhere yes. you were, like the next step, like I'm headed to this, and baby, I'm gonna see you here. And then all of a sudden, you just outside, and you outside enjoying your friends, and you forget to call him, and he's on his way to you, but you done left the spot. Mm -hmm. Damn, that's when that was specific as hell. <laughs> that just happened? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's when you stop caring about connection or connecting with him. Or what about if you what stop caring about where he going to? Like, like, oh, yeah, it's over. Like, oh, I'm not even checking to see what girls you're around. I don't even care. I, I knew more. it. That sounds like trust. That, that sounds like more. <laughs> <laughs> sound like a healthy relationship. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> it's I, I, over. Was that was that, that, yeah, that sounds like more the case. You know, it's not so much when you stop doing the little things for them. Is it when you don't give a damn about them doing a little stuff? Like, ain't That's nothing crazy. you can do I just, right I was now just, to just... Yeah. I was just told that uh, some women like being with cheaters not because they're getting cheated on because of the excitement like having to like check where the they are the through their sick. phone Hell but it's no. like it's it exciting you, you, you never know talking. what they're going to bring you home you know what I mean? that's the woman's version <laughs> that's the no. woman's version of the chase if you ask me you know again for men it's the thrill of the chase you know you hollering at her you macking her down you trying to break her defenses you know what I'm saying? And get you know, get close to her and probably, you know, get a little shot of that trend I in them. And then you find out <laughs> she ain't really that exciting. So that's why I'd be over. Like the the, the thrill but is once the, you get it. The, but maybe. once you get it. Right. And you once you get it, you gotta be goddamn uh, exciting to keep right. that thrill of that chase the going on. Getting in there and finding out they're not interesting is yeah. It's like all the work that you put in. You done got the past the defense. But I feel like those are the easy the breakups. Wall. I feel like the hard breakups are when you get in there, you realize like, damn, we're very sexually compatible. Our personalities are compatible. We actually could do business together. Like you're making me better. I'm making you so better. What's the problem? Life just be happening sometimes. It's like sometimes. Nah, you you quit like the light skin nah, niggas. That's, that's, that's what you need to do. <laughs> They, uh, I don't know, man. Like, so once you go through the breakup, right? Like, okay, let's let's go through Going people's through first month. Breakup. Yeah, like hard. that first month is definitely the hardest. What is some advice we have for people? Have a pity party. Yeah. Sit in your shit. Like, sit in it. 
breathe it, live it, own it. You can't run from the pain if you want to get over it fast. I used to say, get busy, stay busy, go around friends, be around love. But then that means you're running from what you're actually feeling. And after a couple of heartbreaks, because you know, they done broke my heart a few times, I realized that I had to sit in it. I had to understand it. I had to cry. I get drunk three days. I give myself a pity party for three days. I cry, I scream, I eat pizza, I get drunk. The and then on the Christ third Christ. day, I fucking get up and I'm like, I gotta move on. Whatever it takes for you mm -hmm. to go through your emotions and understand, that it's a light at the end of the tunnel and this destination you're trying to get through is nice. through them goddamn emotions. You know what I'm saying? And once you get through them emotions, you know, you done made your, you know, after this breakup, you done made your last ditch of effort, you done hollered at her like, yo, I really want you. And it's clear that it's over, you're gonna be hurt. But after that, you know, I think in order to get over a breakup truly, you gotta B-O-A-B, -B, ball on a bitch. Be the best, <laughs> be the best version <laughs> of yourself. You know the bitch like the nigga with the, with the charger, the uh -huh. Hellcat or whatever. You don't go do that. You be don't, don't try to be like him. You try to be the best version of you, uh -huh. and the best version of you gonna shine brighter than anything mm. that 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 bitch can see. And bitch, you don't like this. That's on you. And after you see how beautiful and fabulous I am and how silky these furs be against my face, <laughs> if you still don't want that, that's on you. And by the time you come to me. I don't even want that because I'm hanging out with bad ones like Cynthia and Tahiri now. Damn. So you weak. You mean <laughs> you weak? <laughs> you weak now. I think I don't know. I feel like yeah. when you go through a breakup, it's important to go through it, like yeah. to feel it. But I think where people get lost at is they don't cap that. And mm -hmm. and I, mm -hmm. for me, it's like I'll give myself a month, a month. You know, mm -hmm. like I think that's enough time to be Read upset. It. But if you're if you're over here like tripping over another person. For six months, eight months, like you, you really like. I feel like we give other people way too much. Too much. Yeah, we give like know. them too much control over our emotions because you could go through a year, two years, just devastated because of what another person did, and they're chilling. They don't even know you. Yeah, no, they don't even care. You being really mad they, doesn't they, do like, anything. Really Here's the media, thing, yeah. though. I I cap it at three days, but then I'll continue stressing. I just kind of continue moving. I start working, and I'll you shake my head so throughout the day, and I'll think about it. I might not even be able to have sex with another person. Cause I'm not over it, yeah, but I have, lying, but I start yeah. moving. That's why, cause that's my first thing. <laughs> that is, oh, that's, that's so, it's so comforting. I literally <laughs> fall out of the relationship into another bitch. Also, <laughs> this is crazy. All right, so. Get over somebody so, and get under somebody. But it's but almost like, preferred. Or, it's preferred, <laughs> but I do feel it. And, I, and fellas, I'm telling you, man, Music is the shit. <laughs> Make you a playlist, nigga. Start the playlist oh, on some Kevin, uh, Tevin Campbell. Can we talk? Like, go through the whole relationship. Get hey, the Ryan holla at a song, the, the, love, the love songs, the and then you get the breakup songs. Play your Charlene's. <laughs> the, uh, when, I, if, you when I was your man, you do all that. Cry you out, big song? dog. Do it all, and then come back. Return of the Mac, nigga. Like at the end, at the long, at the end of the playlist, Return of the Mac. Larry June. Yeah, Larry June. Get you some Larry June. And then you gotta get on these hoes. You gotta get on these hoes. You know the same way women be fishing for compliments and like to be told they pretty. Men do too. And after a while, you know what I'm saying? You get in a relationship with somebody, y'all y'all lose sight of how fine a nigga is. So sometimes I might have to go to the barbershop and bust out on them. No, yes. all the time. You know what I'm barbershop? No. I've gone through breakups where, you know, I've seen him again and he looks like shit because he's going through it too. Mm -hmm. And then there's certain breakups and, and you look at him and you're like, damn, I, why did I leave him again? Mm -hmm. But I, what I do do though, um, I make these playlists with my ex's names on them. Mm. Oh, this reminds me of Roberto. Oh, I'm this reminds me of Dexter. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, right. Right. I, was just like, yeah. I, got I didn't say, classes. yeah, Jamal. don't get you I said, don't. Pulp none pulp. of these songs <laughs> need to remind you. In my playlist, none of these songs need to nah, remind you. I do, yeah. I go through the emotions. Like, you I go through, you shit. start with everything that a relationship is. It starts is, good and then it starts bad. You start, oh, yeah, you start right good, now. everything. Get reminisce. Yeah. Reminisce on all the you good and everything. By the time you get to the end, I just need you to be at, at Young Dro, fuck that bitch. <laughs> Yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. return of the mask. It's, it's funny important. to me. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Banging. Gotta catch another flight. Hey, buddy. Uh, uh, you break up with me. So what about yeah. this though? So, so what about people, do you guys advise the makeup to break up thing? Because sometimes, yeah, you just need chances to grow and people have broken up and gotten back together and then get married and it's the best thing ever. I don't know nothing about that. Get on these hoes. Listen. <laughs> The first thing you do is you get on them, you you show, because one, you going out, you done got the haircut, 
You right. smell good, everything. When you're going to run into a woman, y'all vibing and everything, and you're just going to be like, I would, but I just kind of got out of a breakup, so I'm a little bit emotionally unavailable. She'll fuck you, dog. They they love emotionally unavailable, bro. They, as as they, as they, as <laughs> no, you're being honest. Yes, you're being honest, but they just and they're like, he was so honest. Because the fact that you like into your emotions, right in the yeah. club with his hat in his hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, you I'm do so everything you normally so do. Have you done and then when she thinks you about the clothes, yes, in, you go, nah, man. That's that toxicity. So the makeup to break up. Explain the moving furniture. She, you know, we mad. We so mad, and then we just having wild, passionate, crazy sex, and we just moving. Furniture. And then <laughs> after you nut, and we get back together, mad. Still and then we might talk to you. It's just yeah. I don't even consider that breaking up the makeup. That's mm. just the ebb and flow of your relationship. See, I don't like That's people like that. Yeah, goes, you know what I'm saying? Because breaking up is again. I don't want to put breakup on the title because you're gonna go suck another nigga dick. Ooh. So <laughs> we just going through a moment Wait, right why now. So we not broke what kind up. Of women you date? Man, y'all women move fast. Y'all. Yeah, listen. I, 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 I don't. I just don't like, like that though. If you gonna break up with me, yeah. break up with me for real. Don't do the break up and the you bluff have break. I don't think yeah. it's a bluff break up. To see if you care, you it's a bluff up. You right? Yeah. Yeah. See if you really care. A chick broke up with me and then I got somebody pregnant the next day. Now I'm the villain. I was like, you said we was Yeah, you said we trying to be on the same. Yeah, <laughs> Come on now, this is wild. It was like you made a baby on me. I did not. I did not. You, broke you definitely now. broke up with me. Yeah. I, was, I remember. I was crying when I was making day. that baby. Right. I was confused when she was like. Because even kid. though like your your brain has broken up with the person, your body and your emotion is not for at least a few months. Well, so when you see them with yeah. somebody else, it feel like they still your man, even though you told them. Fuck you, you wasted my time, I hate you. But how many people have you been like super, super into? Like, oh, I can't believe it. And then like, fast forward to now, you don't even really think you about them. Like <laughs> so nah, it's one I can't see. What? I can't even see. I It'll saw, trigger you I, I saw this bitch on my phone in a podcast in the background, this big. I blocked the podcast. <laughs> in the background of the podcast. Yeah, you're not over it. Yo, like, like, like you see the bartenders in the back, like in the back. And I knew hey, it was her. Those be the girls that I was that like, I know them bangs, nigga. Though, right? <laughs> those girls create monsters. Yeah. I was like, ah, yeah. nah. Nah, that motherfucker hurt That's me. Like, yo, I'm sorry. Yo, you uh, blocking everything I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you why it hurt, though. It hurt because it was all me. Yeah, she didn't you do ruined nothing it. wrong, and I ruined everything. Oh, yeah, that, I can't see this bitch. No, oh, well then that's why you're. No, that's, yeah. that's why it lingered. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's why she like, did. And I didn't get closure. Oh, There's nigga, no it's over. Closure, yeah, you, yeah. you fuck over. up and not get closure. No, because this was the thing, right? You I, need a closure on how she felt about no, it. No, 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 no. <laughs> all right, so here, here's the story. So I was fucking up, right? But I didn't realize how. I was really, really like arrogant at the time, right? And I was like, oh, I know what your problem is, but I never knew what the problem was. Mm -hmm. Even though she was always telling me, I wouldn't listen. The last time we had a conversation, I was like, no, I really know where I was wrong and I apologize for doing you that way. And I just wanted her to be like, you finally get it and I hope that you find somebody and you don't yeah. make this mistake right. again. This bitch started crying. I was like, oh, she still loved me. Aww. Oh no, that ain't what I wanted. I wanted to go back to the streets. There's feelings there. Uh, and I was like, I gotta block this bitch on everything. I'm, Cause now I'm a wonder. I don't wanna wonder <laughs> could it ever be. <laughs> I don't wanna wonder what if. Even though she was like emotional in that moment, she really done. And I don't wanna be the nigga chasing her and then it not happened. That's the least right. toxic thing about me. I don't be sticking around. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not that's that so nigga. Annoying. I'm not. Sometimes a woman wants you to fight a little. Yeah, yeah. I ain't got no fight in me. Me neither. Not now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you cool, want to go? I'm have not... you have you tried to fight for relationships and yes. then you be like, hey. the sex symbol has yes. I have stepped in there and said, don't leave. That's wild. I have, I have, yeah. and I've had to. People have to. They've looked at me. They, Terry, you know good to hear me. But I love that nigga. But that's how crazy it is. You <laughs> wouldn't expect her to chase nobody. I have. I've chased. You, they begged me to chase. They're like nigga, you need to be chasing people. But what do you think it is like, about nah, a relationship where it is like that power shift? Is it just like our attachment that we're just used to them having Possibly. every day it's, of our I think it's you fighting and to hang on to comfort. I don't want to catch another body. Yeah, I ain't worried about that. Problem. That's yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a girl problem. Yeah, you know that's a girl issue. It's like that's like in jail, one. you know those little tick, those like tally marks. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm a woman. I don't want to. Like, like, like if I'm comfortable and you know this, I feel that like that we can fix some things. Honestly, I don't want to catch another body. Don't want to learn somebody else's habits. Don't want to meet their family. They always want to introduce me to mom. I don't want to meet your mom. I like this mama right here. Like right. I like my my. 
I like I where I am. I was weird. I'm really yeah. into people who don't have family. You're weird. <laughs> that is a little I don't want to meet them. I it's don't easier, but then they come with It's kind of predator. Yeah, I don't, don't want to. So, so, so Slink, it when, like, what do your homeboys call you and tell you that they're going through a breakup? Because I feel like guys don't be there for each other like that. I feel like y'all want them to shut up and get off the phone. Mm-hmm. Girls, we'll spend our whole Saturday morning, no, like, tell me, bitch, vents. everything that happened. <laughs> right. The only y'all problem be with venting like, is y'all don't want solutions. Do you let guys know? Y'all just want to. Y'all just want to. Tell us, and we're Absolutely. like, well, what if you did this? You're like, shut up. Get this so, negativity. So if you listen to him back, do you give him advice on it, or you just... They don't always want advice. I learned that a lot about women too. Sometimes right. women just want to fucking talk. Ain't they no sometimes. Yeah. Women just want to talk. You, we, we trying to offer advice, and you know, same mm-hmm. with the homies. No, I'll just listen. Let the motherfucker get that shit off their chest, and then right. they hear how stupid they sound themselves. Man, I yeah. can't shoulder nobody's emotions like that. I ain't built like that. That'll ruin my. Y'all don't want no solution. Days. What do y'all do? Go to the strip club? Like I don't know what's up. Oh me? Yeah, your girl leave you depending on the situation. I might laugh, but <laughs> like, depend. And no, nah, that's real. Cause especially if it's somebody I told you yeah. not to. Yeah, because you came to me for advice before, and I told right. you leave that motherfucker alone. Mm-hmm. And then now you over here crying to me. I'm laughing. Yeah, because I. Cause I, told I think you. I'm not connected to this conversation really because. Like, we talking about being with people. Like, really, I think a lot of y'all, y'all young, y'all just be fucking each other. Y'all ain't really being with, and this shit don't really That's count. What you, no, what I mean, you, what you mean? That y'all I doing about with. Fu- well, being with is sharing <laughs> bills with a motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. What you mean? No, no, no. That's what, yeah, that's being what I'm talking about. Is, being that, with is it, being emotionally charged. You at that bitch house on Christmas. <laughs> You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Being, I'm blocking being, other people's being, yeah. podcasts. I know, nah, I, mean, like, <laughs> I know what love is. Again, I, it's, it's just hard for me because <laughs> I only had like a, in the background. I only had like a couple real relationships, a couple real relationships in my life. The rest mm-hmm. of them just fuck buddies and flings. But that's because you're a man. Because as a woman, the minute we make out, we go together. Yeah, I know a lot of women who aren't like that. I see why you like red flags. I mean, the same with men. I mean, it's just, you just more survivable. So after you went through those, do you feel like having to go through those heartbreaks made you less likely to get into relationships? Like, man, I don't wish heartbreak on no fucking body. Me it made it made me even le- if I don't like the couple together, and I hate them both. It made it made me less lie to put. It made me less likely to put on airs and lie at the beginning. At the beginning, I, you know, I'll tell you, I, I pop shit at y'all, and I, you know, I pop the most roguish shit mm-hmm. that I can pop. Because therefore, if you fuck with me after I pop this roguish shit, you in for a treat. Because it only get better than that. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I so therefore, I ain't got no room to be lying and shit. I'm gonna tell you whatever the fuck is going on. Because at the end of the day. I don't know how much time I got on my clock, and I ain't here to be playing, that's bitch. You finna give me the Dome Leon, or you can get on. Dome Leon. I'm a chore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a lot of people on earth for you to be hung up and upset about one person. Man, that's all. You don't think about I'm that when like you're in a relationship. Uh, but you it's, don't it's, think it's, about that when you're going through a breakup. You don't think about the many fish in the sea. Yeah, but I, I mean, do. it's not, it's not do, even yeah, about I the do. many fish. It's about just like, it's called being, it's called being hurt. Like, that shit, it's going to pass. It's literally like getting a cut. You like, don't. It, it feels like it's never going to Just that shit and heal up. Y'all all sound really good until one bad bitch comes and breaks your heart. And y'all men can't do it. It'll be no, it'll be terrible, it'll be terrible, but it'll pass. I did. I told, I did. I told, I've been completely <laughs> honest about me. You said, I'm still not okay. I don't want to see her in no capacity. But you broke her heart. Look here. Look her, I didn't know she broke my heart. I'm going to tell you, I compromised my integrity for love. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I compromised my integrity, and that's that's more than I got to say. You know what I'm saying? Because, again, it's certain things as men. With certain things as men, we tolerate them, and certain things we don't. And again, you turn around and you have to look at things objectively, I guess, and be yeah. like, well, damn, uh, you know, and that's part of the, the, the maturation and, and mm-hmm. of, of, of an evolution of, of somebody. Like, again, I'd be gung ho about some shit. Fuck that bitch, she gotta call me. Mm-hmm. I ain't even chasing that bitch. Mm-hmm. But again, if I like you like that, yeah, I'm gonna offer you some huh? pursuit. Like, I can chase you, baby, but you gotta slow down a little bit. <laughs> Hey, you know what I'm saying? If you running full speed, bitch. I got a bad knee. You better slow fire. down. Okay? That's fire. I've heard uh, one thing that I want to know if y'all think this is true about relationships. It's like girls deal with it up front, and then it's like after a month, we don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. Y'all be like, fuck it, I'm about to go fuck bitches, blah, blah, blah. and then like a month later, it hits y'all to where we first well, that's, like, that's, that's true, though. No, that's, that's why you got to make the playlist. No, 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 no,
know right because now. I, no, that's because y'all want to go out there and do the thing and do y'all thing. And then when if it don't work out, y'all want to dribble back and come back to that bitch. That that's kind of true. But also, yeah. also, I think it's that's because why I'm never available. Wait, but y'all, y'all unavailable. When y'all get it, when y'all get heartbroken, y'all deal with it. Y'all, y'all like make it a thing. Like you said, pity party. You have all your friends over. Everybody knows about it. We push that shit down. We go out, you know, we with the hoes. Pressure. We have, we yeah. have, and then, it and then so they'll be. see her happy. And then, the, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh. It'll, that it'll happen. Who does this thing It'll happen it. like a month or two later. <laughs> happy it'll just be, you'll just be alone life. in your kitchen and you'll just be like, dang, she used to do that thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then it hits you like, oh, but that wouldn't happen if we sat there and, de and dealt with it. No, but no, but here's pushing the thing. I have this one ex. I promise you, he will go missing for a year. Let me post a new nigga on a gram. He is like, hey, but it's not even it's not even like he don't he'll call, he'll text, he'll WhatsApp, he'll DM, he'll start That's just being possessive. Just, but I'm like, Everybody, no, but wait, but that, no, 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 wait, no, 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 no. This is the first and, time in a certain part. No, this is the no, first time I experienced I just, some shit I, like that. I that never shit is feel sick. Like, it me, is. like, why would you wait for me to be in something and see me happy to want to creep up and like really to go ruin in? it? It's like you don't but want me, you just don't want somebody else to have. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you why I do it. That's why you do it. The third time, the fourth, I'm like, I'm the one that got away. I've done stuff like that, but I'm gonna tell you why I do it. I do it because I want to know if she'll cheat. I just want to. That's crazy. I never, I just you know, want to know. And you a villain. And then, I, what? I never claimed to be a good nigga, bro. I I was I've saying. never, <laughs> I've never sat up no, here and claimed you, to be a good you, nigga. You, 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 I feel you like if somebody cheat is so well, it's not so easy, but it's way easier to, to get over the breakup because you can like feed off of your anger. Yeah, and so see. it's like the anger will well, get you far enough and after a month you'll be like, oh, I am sad, but the no, anger... I don't even think that you have to go that far. I think that when you want to get over somebody, all you got to do is think about all the bad things and all the negative things in that relationship and you can keep I it think moving. about her without her weed. Right. Like you look good on Instagram. <laughs> bitch, you ain't spit no <laughs> fucking eyebrows. I know you ain't got no eyebrows in real life, bitch. I, I see you. I know you got... I see it. Yeah, I see it. That yeah. do help though because if you know, yeah, weak, if you bitch. know, you can't go to Instagram and be like, oh, damn, You'd be like, nah. I just, that'd be another that thing, that too. That'd be another thing where we'd be like, I just go out looking good. I know what you look like, nigga. You don't look like that all the time. And that's why you should stay right here, because a nigga, if a nigga yeah. love you without that weave, that's oh. true love. Right, right. You're going to make a nigga fall in love with that Yaki. Right. Really? Yeah. Really, you know? I'm, I'm glad I'm where I am just mentally as far as... Uh, Maturing. I'm I, a lot of the stuff that I've said today. I used to be a really terrible nigga. Yeah. But you know, it was because I didn't receive a lot of love mm. growing up. Excuses. Okay. That's not excuses. excuses. Is that, mm, it didn't give me an excuse to do what I did. It, it made good. me understand it's why mm -hmm. I was doing comments. what I was doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> none of those. <laughs> none of politics. those women. No, no, no. None mm -hmm. of those women deserved any other things that I was doing to mm -hmm. them. Now, after I did certain things to them and they stayed, hey, that's you. You a yeah, you you glutton for punishment. Yeah. You glutton for punishment because I, I ain't showed you. I ain't, I ain't shit. shit. And then you can yeah, you want to stay. But, yeah. Hoping for better. Yeah, but once I had a daughter, right? Mm -hmm. The unconditional love she was giving me, like she looked at me like I was Superman every day and I didn't need no validation from and a man anybody. Going, at some point in her life, break her heart. Yeah. At some point, no matter how much you tell her, no and, matter And that's how what I'm saying. I realize it's not, listen to this, man. Reverend they tried Run, so hard with me. And that's Reverend the Run had a TV show. He was a reverend showing his family, family values. And his daughter still ended up with, still ended up with the nigga that said Snapchat me that pussy. <laughs> There's nothing Shout you can Yo do. Hey. Shout out to Yo Gotti. <laughs> <laughs> or FaceTime me that pussy if it's cool. <laughs> It's crazy that sometimes <laughs> sometimes niggas have to make a person <laughs> to realize, like, damn, I, I should stop this. treating people I, bad. Yeah. Crazy, my whole life. I've been wild. I've been wild. I've been three daughters. <laughs> I feel like the best thing I can do is be brutally honest with them and tell them that, them you know, game. this is what it is. These niggas ain't shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Before, I mean, again. Like they not shit, but that's what you got. You're going to have to go through and find the one with the best qualities. But understand, not so much niggas ain't shit, but niggas is human. Right. We're going to do some things. We're going, we're going, you know, again, we're going to do shit that I ain't cool. I think that things change with, as you mature. Like, the toxic right. I'm less toxic now. Yeah, I for was me, in my 20s. For me, I, I feel like um, when I'm going through breaks, breakups and stuff like that, I keep trying to just understand, one, is biology. 
over emotions. I have a physical attachment that I can't help in my body. It's like biology, it's scientific. So I gotta look at it and be like, why do I not want this person to be happy without me? Mm -hmm. Like, why do I be like, I don't fucking want you to be happy without me? Cause it's my ego trip to be like, I was the best thing that ever happened in your life. Mm -hmm. And there's no fucking way your life could get better after I leave. I say that all the time And sometimes it just happens. It's just ego. No, I'm friends with somebody. all of my exes, almost except for maybe one that everybody knows about. Cause he, that anyway. wild. Right, I'm, I'm good on that, but. <laughs> but like, you tried to be friends for a while. Right. So I'm yeah. really I'm friends with because I, I also know that because we didn't work doesn't mean that we can't be friends and that you you're not you can't you could can go be with someone else. Do you feel like you could still get blamed for that breakup like it's your fault and you're missing out on something even though you're like I ain't missing out on shit. I get that all the time. Yeah. Have y'all ever been in a situation where you really, really, really want your friend to break up with somebody and they just cannot see how horrible this person is? Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. But I don't be yeah. a I can't say really. You don't be but I don't, be my, I don't really, really, really want really, really? I think it's I just want to be about it. Um, I got a situation yeah. where I think it's best personally, mm -hmm. but again, my friend has expressed to me that he loves that woman. Mm -hmm. and, and again, who am I to tell him because who I love ain't perfect. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Who I love, I'm sure my support system can say, hey man, fuck that bitch. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So again, at the end of the day, man, I just want you to be happy. Whatever it takes, you know what I'm saying? You know that you know she's doing this X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. Hey, once you, if you want to be with her, you got to learn to get over X, Y, and Z. Yeah. You know, and look past that. I don't tell it. people to break up with people because they, because whenever you do and they don't break up with them, they tell, hey, Ryan said right. I should yeah. break I don't up with Ryan. Oh, this is And then y'all stuck together. You about yeah. to be to her birthday party. Yeah. I don't know what right. I've done that, but like, you know, every every chick got like a hating ass friend. I, she hates. Like, she'll just be the friend to tell you to leave. I've told them both at the same time because mm. I don't want them to even talk about this and pillow talks. It's like, y'all niggas is toxic. Together, you be like, y'all yeah, need to break up. I knew both of them. I was like, y'all, like, this is not going to work. <laughs> did it work or they right? still together? No, they did it. They, still, they did a four-year bid and then it was four over. Four-year bid. Because when they it don't like, work out, it feel like then, a bid. Yes, but by then they were going to Therapy, they had them put their hands on it. They just went. See, through. that's why you should have just done nothing. But no, I, I just, <laughs> they were in my house, and I was like, "Y'all, this is this is crazy. Y'all gotta go." And, and this is my thing. I, I seen one of my friends, and he going, he, him and his girl been together like four years, and they already in therapy. I'm like, "Y'all in therapy? Y'all ain't even married yet. No nope. relationship's not gonna fuck." Here's work. another thing. No, because already I, I, no, 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 no. Already? I've heard of relationships that go to therapy early, so they can start off. Early, and so before they, they have problems, yeah, win to win win, like they want to win, mm. so they that's, start that's from the very start. beginning oh, when smart. they're invested. Pre problem, they, yeah, no, even before. Let's just kind of solidify this, let's build a foundation together. I thought it was crazy when I first heard that it. I was like, why would you said. be in therapy? Y'all started that just... because that go back to what I I'm said. not doing it, but it makes sense. <laughs> that go back to what I was saying about you know, saying the craziest. Shit. And setting the bar low because again you can build up because if I come in with this ultimate facade, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, and I'm this type of Way person, out. and a few months down the line and a few sexual sections later, you find out I'm really not that dude. Right. Now you mad. So I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna tell you all well, the fucked up shit about it. Yeah. You know, and that's yeah. why you fuck on the first date too. No. You know, <laughs> why not? Because you gotta yeah. I'm not fucking on the first date. I'm I not. think you find out a lot of stuff that can, you know. I'm not fucking on the first I date. I find out Shortcut. how selfish you are. <laughs> <laughs> I, I find out a lot of stuff about I you. I hate to fuck early because then the shit goes south. We break up and then I... You, and then they be like, I'll fuck to hear you. Like, no. Yeah, like, no, don't no, do you that. didn't. Like, well, I think you lying. should go and get out the way. Get that because because if the shit smell like tuna tartare, I want to know like... <laughs> I don't want to be $2,000 down. Right, right. I don't want to take you to Benny I don't want to take you to Benny I don't want to take you to Benny I don't to be $2,000 down. I just hate to... I hate to give somebody the snapper. I hate to give somebody the snapper. Snap and I find out you horny. And like, I wish I could unsuck that. You said the snapper? Like, yeah, yeah he the snapper. That's and then be like, dang, I don't wasted my juice there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Really? It was like, you know, some, some dudes you wish you could unswallow. Like, yeah. yeah like, um, I wish I could. Oh my God. I, I wish I could have done that. Unswallow. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I could have done that. And it's too late. You already did that. It's because too late. you didn't even have a conversation with the dude. And they always got that visual in their mind. I don't have sex on the first date. All right, y'all. So we're going to wrap it up. So, what is your final advice for anybody who's going through a breakup right now? I mean, I'm talking about they clicked on this video because they was just crying listening to their breakup playlist. I'll go breakup first playlist. then. Here's something we never talked about. Are breakups a bad thing? 
They should be looked at as new chapters. Right. Like They're not thing. really a bad thing. It's yeah. just like it, like I said in the beginning. Every like time this happens to us, it, it's the mm. worst thing ever. Mm. And then it starts over and we completely forgot about it. Like a cut or something or like literally being hurt. Mm. You dodged a bullet. You literally, yeah. But like how many breakups have you gone through and you're just like, that was that was a cool part of my life. And then mm. I got to move on. Because like a lot of times, yeah. like you That's think about the first. That's though. But go ahead. It's always, but think about it. If you were with the first person that you ever liked up until now, Ooh, you'd be Jesus, like, oh, that'd be yeah. boring. Yeah, like, what yeah, the hell? Yeah. You didn't get the experience with that. You didn't get to move on. You didn't get everything that came with that. Yeah. So I feel like breakups aren't that big of a deal. Especially if it's bad. A relationship wasn't working. Just that is true. All breakups are we not equal cool for sure. But we look at breakups as like we're losing something because it's a, you invested into this person. You invested right. your time. You may have thought y'all was going to be together forever. So yeah, I think I have always looked at as breakups as like you're losing something. You're losing a person, a friend, a mm-hmm. sexual partner, or everything. But yeah, you're gaining... A new life, I, a new I'm chapter. Gonna I'm, I'm, gonna you, I'm sorry. I always fuck my exes, even Me after too. we break yeah. up. Yeah. So I, 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 I never I felt like I lost them. them. I just like, like we not a couple no more. We didn't break I, up. I, we just see each other less. Yeah, I like, I definitely I'm not obligated to do like, nothing. Yeah. Anymore. I know I've been doing this long enough to know the double back is real. And all I ask is this: Don't put so much water under the bridge, please. Why you why why you making your rounds? Don't put so much water. Don't come back with pregnant. Don't come back what? with You're tattoos, stupid. whatever. You know what I'm don't saying? He said, tattoos. don't come back with tattoos. Yeah, Terrell back with tattooed tattoos. on you. Now we fucking. Oh, and it's like, just like, yeah. <laughs> don't put all that water. Because when it's real, I, and this is this is straight up, no lie. I've told my woman, is, you know, we broke up. I told her in the breakup time, bitch, we going to be back. Don't get no tattoos. <laughs> I'm going to get my bitch back. Don't get no tattoos. I say sit in it. I say sit in it. Deal with it, breathe it, shit it, eat it for a couple days, keep it moving, shit and it. then yeah, like everything, just just live in the pain or whatever it is, mm. and just let time tell it take take its course because um, either you're gonna heal or you're gonna go back into the same situation and you guys are gonna learn from it and be better. So mm-hmm. you just never know, but you I, have to face it though. Stay strong, king or queen. Yes. <laughs> I say take if 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 you're a man and you're on a breakup. Go fuck somebody. Me. Nah, 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 nah. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I'm gonna tell you why. Because you need to know that the breakup ain't because you can't get it ain't because you can't get no woman or can't keep no woman. You That's still that nigga. Sure. Yeah, hey, you gave your advice. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> I didn't say nothing. That's on you. You do your playlist. You do all your crap. Get it up, up right. front. Get it out. But then you go out there and remind yourself of who you are, King. You go out there and, and remind say, And same for the queen. And the queen. I was yeah. about to get the same advice. You go out there and you take it out on some nigga. You ride him. You, you choke him. You, you talk fresh crazy off the to this the nigga. Playlist. You talk crazy. <laughs> In the club. Ladies, go out, fuck a new nigga. I'm and not talk. choking him because of y'all talk, ass. Yeah. Hate talk niggas. crazy to this nigga. I hate Everything you. Everything you don't. Be a completely different person. That all the shit you wanted to say wild to this nigga. Right. The new yeah. nigga is not going to care. He fucking. Hey. He don't care. Hey. You don't never take out the trash. He like, whatever. <laughs> whatever she talking about. <laughs> I don't, do it. I don't care. What about you, Slate? Final I'm advice for the breakers. I'm gonna chime in with Ryan to an to an extent. I'm just like I said earlier. Do Correct things. Him. Do <laughs> things to be the best version of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Ball on the bitch. They say living well Ball is the best the revenge. Bitch, me up. Living well is the best revenge. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can be. Don't be spiteful calling a bitch. You gonna hurt, man. I know your heart right. broke, but it don't show because all I heard from your mouth was fuck that hoe. You know what I'm saying? To keep getting your money. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever it is, it ain't all about money, but just be the best version of yourself. Whatever you do, you're a chef, nigga. You cook up some shit and mm-hmm. you feed it to Boy, some of these yeah, other nice like ladies. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Feed a bitch some scrunch. Hey, yeah, be the best yeah. version of yourself. Ball on a bitch. I, ball on a bitch. I love that. I would say, uh, for me, I think before you just know, before you get into a relationship and after you get out of a relationship, you're going to be a different person. Like, because you spent time, especially if it's at like a year to two year plus, you spent time with them, your habits changed. They took you to a new restaurant. Now you like sushi and shit. Like you didn't even know. You know, and even like you could date somebody with depression, end up with depression. You know, you could date somebody who's verbally abusive. You start getting quiet. Like you just never know what you go through. So when you come out of these relationships, discover who you are now. And transfer that hey, energy to somebody. To some new. Else. That's the fun and way to and do and it. Yo, By the way, get that demon out of me. And you Take gotta, that new you. Get some new D. Like, Gotta take solace in the fact that if you're a hell of a person, when she get over there to that other nigga, he gonna say, 
Who taught you that? She gonna say, Slinky Easy taught talk. me. <laughs> <laughs> Toxic vampire. Yeah, the new girl that you don't know, she waking up like, why am I feeling so down? And yeah. you waking up. <laughs> we hope uh you know that we helped you survive oh, some breakups if you awesome. have any tips leave them in the comments below make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to the defiant digital channel and we're gonna catch you next episode <laughs>